And you take a look at that and you put it all together with a failed monetary policy, how you're only allowed to travel so much before your carbon credit score gets too high and then you're cut off. How about you're only allowed to eat meat on Tuesdays, you're only allowed to eat so much meat until your carbon score gets too high. How about you're only allowed to buy so many goods until your carbon score gets too high and then they shut you off. And you say, Chris, that sounds crazy. What if you wanna buy more stuff? Well, if you have money and you're rich, well then you can just buy more credits and the billionaires can keep flying their jets and the poor people get stuck in one place. I know this sounds dystopian and you think I'm crazy, but, but let's hear it directly from their mouth again. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned, we don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. So again, this is what they're talking about at the World Economic Forum, the WEF. My own mother didn't even know what it was two weeks ago. What else are they talking about? A cyber storm, internet hacking, does MGM ring a bell? I saw a picture of a guy swimming in the pool at the Bellagio. It could get so bad that everybody jumps in the pool at the Bellagio. It could be so bad. We have global instability. They say a catastrophe will happen within the next two years. They're talking about something crazy, not just MGM stock falling from $50 to 36. So this is what they have to do now to protect us from what's gonna happen. Listen to it right here. And our partner Accenture, which we've uh, interviewed and sought input from over 300 executives globally. There's a few headlines that are worth uh, sharing and pointing out that emerged from this research. First is around geopolitics. The most striking finding that we found is that 93% of cyber leaders and 86% of cyber business leaders believe that the geopolitical instability makes a catastrophic cyber event likely in the next two years. So in China, you need facial recognition just to go on the internet so they can stop people from saying mean things about communist China. Of course, this is just for your protection. This is how we're gonna save you. Oh, and by the way, you're gonna eat bugs and you're gonna like it, sir. Yep, now cows are bad for the environment. All the cow farts, they're killing the ozone, sir. You might have to dig to find this one. Check it out, good grubs. It's right on their dang WEF website. And said that, how can you advocate for these zero carbon value chains if you still eat meat? so I stopped eating meat. Now the math would say, well, you need to stop eating meat 11 years to compensate for a flight to Thailand. Yes, but if a billion people stop eating meat, I tell you it has a big impact. Eat the bugs! Right from the WEF, Klaus Schwab and his cronies at the devil-worshipping festival at Davos. Bow down to Satan or die. Right, here's the chairman of Siemens. I'm not talking about those kind. One of the largest companies in the world. Let's hear what he has to say. So one billion people are gonna die because they're gonna starve to death. So let's get rid of the cows. Let's get rid of the meat. That makes sense. What else are they talking about? A poly crisis. It's a cluster F of misinformation, a poly crisis. It's a bird and it's gonna fly out of the sky and hit you in the head. Check out the slide. So nobody can use the web anonymously now and you have to be given permission to use the internet. Are you pissed off? I'm pissed just reading the script. 
And the biggest fear, the biggest risk, the climate. Because Al Gore told you they're boiling the ocean. They're boiling the ocean and that's causing the xenophobia and authoritarianism. And so if we just listen to what they say, don't travel, don't move, don't eat meat. And if we don't use the internet and make sure you take their drugs, well then they won't have to be authoritarian anymore. Do you believe that? There's a billion people out there that could starve to death that don't have electricity. Check out this slide. It literally says give up control, allow the WEF and the UN to run your life, central planning. So if this proud lion, king of the jungle, will just gracefully go into his cage over here and just shut up and take your medicine, then they can save the world at the World Economic Forum. If you allow the WEF and the UN to plan everything for you, of course, that's what central planning means. So how do they do that? Well, Klaus Schwab, this clown, says they need to get rid of democracy. Literally, it's on the slide. And create a public-private partnership where the corporations and governments just decide everything for you. And if we do that, then we can save the world. And then we'll be masters of the future, sir. So if you don't see the writing on the wall, I've got two words for you. Buy Bitcoin. And four more. Be awake, not woke.